There are few things in this world that can touch your soul, and Cumbre Tajin is one of them. This five-day superfest celebrates the Totonac culture and the sacred city of El Tajin. It highlights the importance of preserving ancient practices that teach respect for nature and conscious living. Cumbre Tajin awakens our soul to the sacred traditions and knowledge that can benefit our mind, body, and soul. Cumbre Tajin is an annual festival that takes place near the town of Papantla in northern Veracruz. The year is 2010. We had been living in Mexico about a year, and we had always dreamed of going to Cumbre Tajin. As we drove to Papantla, we had this feeling of excitement. We had heard that Cumbre Tajin was one of those life-changing festivals, but we really didn't know what to expect. We arrived early to the fairgrounds as everyone was preparing for the big event. We met up with our friend Alex. He's one of the hundreds of organizers that put their body and soul into creating this magnificent event. He invited us here to give a henna tattoo workshop for the people and be part of the Cumbre Tajin experience. It was Margarita's first time teaching a henna workshop, so she was really excited. As we walked around the fairgrounds, we could feel the incredible energy from all the different indigenous craftsmen and practitioners that were gathering to share their knowledge. It's the spring solstice and the fertility ceremonies have begun. Cumbre Tajin is a celebration of the Totonac culture as well as indigenous cultures from around the world. With more than 5,000 activities and 300 artists, it has workshops, craft shows, holistic healing, including transformative Temescal workshops featuring the incredible Abuela Margarita. Yo soy Dios, yo soy Dios, en mi está Dios, en mi está Dios, desde la eternidad, desde mi concepción. There is music, dance, and a spectacular light show at the El Tajin Archaeological Zone. There's so much to see and do, it's a delight to the senses. Traditional dancers from all over Mexico descend on Cumbre Tajin to demonstrate their ritual traditions. These mysterious dances, which have both religious and satirical meaning, represent the fusion of Spanish and Totonacan cultures. The dancers dressed in a way that made fun of Spaniards and other upper-class people who dominated them. The brightly colored costumes are extraordinary, with sequins, mirrors, and tassels, with gorgeous hats made of ribbons and flowers. The Weiweis wear carved masks, each with a different expression. The men dress as women as they wave their silk handkerchiefs. And beautifully decorated circular hats representing the sun. Cumbre Tajin is a symphony of music and dance that will nourish and stimulate your body and soul.
Another honored ritual is La Danza de los Voladores, or the Dance of the Flyers. This ceremony was created to appease the gods and bring the much needed spring rain and fertility. They begin by dancing and singing a song called the Son of Forgiveness. The Totonac dress are intricate works of art. With red pants and white shirt, everything is heavily embroidered and decorated. The cloth across the chest symbolizes blood. The hat is adorned with flowers for fertility, and mirrors represent the sun and multicolored ribbons stream from the hat representing the rainbow. Five flyers climb to the top of the 100-foot pole. It's a bit scary because they're way up there over 100 feet with no safety ropes. The four Veloradores represent the four cardinal directions as well as the four elements, earth, air, fire, and water. The corporal in the center represents the fifth, the sun. And when it's time, they all fall backwards. And as the ropes unwind, the Valoradores spin, creating a moving pyramid shape. As they descend, one of the flyers plays the son of goodbye, while the corporal lays back and submits his body to the gods. It's a magical experience that transports you to another time, when the connection between the sky, earth, and the underworld were honored and recognized. The dancers begin studying these customs at a very early age, as young as five. And since 2009, women are now allowed to take part in the ceremony and are keeping the tradition alive. As the day turns into night, Cumbre Tajin transforms into a musical extravaganza, with the most popular bands from all over Mexico entertaining the eager crowds. El Tahin ruins also come alive with spectacular light shows and performances. Sharing the history of the ancient Maya, including the ball courts, where the prize for the winner is death. And the children explain how we can preserve our precious world. Cumbre Tahin 2010 was an amazing experience. There was so much going on, I was exhausted from trying to film everything. It was sensory overload. It was one of the most intense spiritual experiences I've had when Abuela Margarita told me, Today is a good day to die. Y fortalecerla en el Temazcal. Y fortalecerla en el Temazcal. This festival had such a profound effect on me, and I was determined to make a movie about it. It was something like a dream in a faraway land. This is Cougre Tahin. Okay, maybe that's not the version, but... I met so many wonderful people. And I'm very grateful to the Tahin organizers for giving me a chance to make this film. <laughs> These festivals are so important because they preserve the ancient practices and philosophies so we can learn from the wise abuelas. If you want a beautiful example of what Mexico is all about, then go to Cumbre Tahin. You won't regret it.
If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and click the bell. And we'll be back with more videos.